Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we will be doing yet another movie night vlog, and I'm very excited for this one. Today is the day that I finally go see Tenet, and I am beyond excited for it. I have been dying to see this movie for months and months and months. It got pushed back a few times, but it's finally releasing in theaters tonight, and I just can't wait any longer to check out yet another Christopher Nolan movie. I still remember seeing Dunkirk in theaters three years ago, and that was one of the best um, theater experiences I've ever had. It was the first Christopher Nolan movie I saw in theaters, and I'm very much ready to check out another film of his in, in the theaters once again. I do go see Tenet later today, um, but first I do need to check out another Christopher Nolan movie before I head out to the theaters tonight. Um, this past week I've kind of been re-watching all of Christopher Nolan's movies, um, kind of re-ranking them, you know, watching them in preparation for Tenet, and uh, the movie I'll be checking out here right now in the movie room is uh, Dunkirk. Very excited to be watching this movie once again. I would say this is the best 4K I own. I think it looks really nice on 4K. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out Dunkirk. In God's good time, the new world with all its power and might steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Wow, what a movie. All right, so I just finished watching Dunkirk. Um, I have loved this movie ever since I first watched it, and it's been one of my all-time favorite movies ever since then. Um, watching it this time around, um, this used to be like one of my favorite Christopher Nolan movies. It was probably like my third or fourth favorite um, when I first, during the first few times I saw the movie, but watching it today, I think it might be my least favorite uh, Nolan movie now. Doesn't mean I don't hate it. I still absolutely love it and have loved it. Um, but when, you know, looking at Batman Begins, the Dark Knight trilogy, Interstellar, just, I think this one isn't as good, but doesn't mean I hate it. I still absolutely love it. Um, and I still very vividly remember seeing this movie uh, in theaters three years ago. So I'm um, done with Dunkirk. Um, I've watched all the Christopher Nolan movies leading up to Tenet, which I will be seeing in just a few hours. I'm very excited for that. So I'll head over to the movie theater in a couple hours and I will see you guys there. All right, so I'm currently in the car on my way to the movie theater to check out Tenet. Uh, my brother is holding the camera right now. He's going to be seeing the movie with me. Um, I have stayed off of social media for the past week ever since it released internationally. Um, except for one time I went back on Twitter after hearing Chadwick Boseman died, but, um, so I've stayed off of, uh, social media as best as I could to just avoid hearing anything about, uh, the movie, but I'm very excited to be checking out yet another Christopher Nolan movie, so I will see you guys inside the movie theater. There are people in the future who need us. I need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. All right, so I just came back from watching Tenet at the movie theaters. To be real honest with you guys, I was so confused by the movie. I barely could understand what was going on. Um, it was a very good looking movie. The action scenes were incredible. I just, I, I could not follow the story hardly at all, which was kind of disappointing. I really, I, I was just so confused by a lot of things that happen in the movie. I will be seeing the movie again tomorrow with um, some of my other family members. So hopefully it'll make more sense when I watch it a second time tomorrow. But my first time viewing it, I was just left very confused by a lot of things that happened in the movie. Not just with the inversion stuff, 
but with some of the story elements too. I really did like Cena and IMAX. It was exhilarating to watch, you know, all the action sequences and whatnot. Um, so that's kind of my thoughts on Tenet. Hopefully I'll like it a lot more on rewatch and hopefully it'll make a lot more sense to me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for checking out this movie night vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This Saturday I will be doing a live stream um, around like one o'clock uh, central time. Uh, the time may change on that, but uh, I'm gonna be doing a live uh, channel update as well as a Q and A because I always kind of do Q and A's with um, the live streams that I do. So so be sure to tune into that live uh, channel update um, so that you can know what um, the future is gonna look like for this channel. I'm also planning on releasing a Christopher Nolan um, ranking video as soon as I figure out um, my thoughts on Tenet, but uh, be on the lookout for that video in the next couple of weeks. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video once again. You can find me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. All the links for those can be found in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.